Hi, my name is Seema and this is Armugam, my friend. He normally accompanies me in all my storytelling sessions. Oh, okay, relax, Armugam. He's te- Okay, okay. Armugam tells me that he wants to go out. He feels that it is a nice time to go out. No, Armugam, it is not. It's too hot outside. Can we take a cap? No, you can't take a cap. It's too outside. It's afternoon. No one goes out in the afternoon. Can't you see? What if it starts raining later on? When it's too hot, sometimes it starts raining, isn't it? He says we can take an umbrella. No. Oh, he wants to know if I'm a weather bureau. You know, the lady who announces when it'll rain, how the weather is going to be on TV. He wants to know if I'm that. No, Armugam, I'm not that. But it's just too hot to go out anywhere. And since we're talking about weather, I have a perfect book. <laughs> yes, he loves books. And he says, yes, yes, yes. He'd rather read and go out later on in the evening. So what's this book? Yes, Armugam, relax. I will tell you what this book is going to be. And since we were talking so much about the weather... Let's find out what book it is going to be. So while Armugam sits there and listens to the story, I'm going to start with a beautiful book called Anna's Extraordinary Experiments with Weather, written by Nandita Jairaj and illustrated beautifully by Priya Kurian. So this is a Pratham book. As you can see, it's a beautiful book. We will see all the illustrations. And this book is written by Nandita Jairaj. It is a Pratham book. And let's see what happens in the story. And what has it got to do with our Mugam and the weather? Well, Annamani blew out all eight candles on her birthday cake. It's her birthday and birthdays are my favorite. I'm sure Armugam's also. You know, so much fun, isn't it? Birthdays are. Happy birthday, Anna shouted her brothers and sisters. Eight years old, eight candles. Anna had a big family, a big house on a hill. But on her birthday, she only had a small wish. A small wish? Generally, on birthdays, don't you have big wishes? Don't you want gifts? What wishes do you have on your birthday? I don't know. Let's see. Look at Anamani. She's just blowing. She's blowing the candles. And all the people behind, you know, the elders and the children, very happy because they're all soon going to get some cakes, you see. Anna tore open her birthday gift and peered in. She looked right inside the box. There was something sparkling inside. Diamond earrings. I hear. Oh my God. Normally when you see diamond earrings, what is your experience? Oh my God, diamond earrings. But here she is. She's saying, Ayo. She did not want diamond earrings. They were expensive and useless. Do you know what Anna really wished for? Books, books and more books. <laughs> Look at Anamani. Here she is looking at those books, not looking at those, that box which has diamonds. And instead she calls it expensive and useless. Look at her eyes. Mm. She is not happy. She's wishing for books and books and more books. Yes, she's our kind of girl. We have books at home, said her brother. But Anna had already read those. There are many more in the library, pointed out her grandfather. But Anna had read those too. She marched up to her room. You know, when you get very angry, you go tick tock, tick tock, not looking left or right. She went in a huff. She just walked out because she is very, very angry, disappointed in the birthday gift that she got. Later that day, there was a knock on Anna's door. But there was nobody outside. Instead, there lay a big box at her doorstep. This better not be jewelry, she said loudly. It wasn't. It was a brand new encyclopedia set. So many books. Hooray! Anna ran around her house hugging everyone. Suddenly she's so happy. She ran around the house and hugged everybody for she finally got the gift that she 
wanted encyclopedia yes a a book that will tell you anything about anything isn't it many years and many many books later anna found a job at in the library of a famous scientist so many many books she's read she's done a lot of good studies and she's become a scientist herself she found a job in the laboratory of a famous scientist what should i do here asked anna the scientist pointed to a box what do you think she found inside look at this she's inside the laboratory of a famous scientist do you know who this famous scientist is can you guess who it could be well we'll know later or at the end of it you tell me who it is okay and he gave her a box and said you look into this and what do you think are inside she opened the box diamonds ayo said anna she was never going to get rid of diamonds but this time the diamonds were not to be worn they were for experiments the scientist wanted anna to find out what makes the diamonds shine so she did her favorite thing she read books about diamonds books books and more books look at her she's peering into the box again but this time she wants to find out why the diamonds shine wow being a scientist was the best isn't it she can get to experiment she can get to read find out so many things she was happy anything could study anything anna could study anything she wanted she did like things that shine she actually liked things that shine and what shines brighter than diamonds so she thought is there anything else that shines brighter than diamonds the sun of course so anna read books about sun sunlight and the weather books books and more books she's reading about the sun she's reading more books look at this her whole room is filled with books anna did hundreds of experiments she built many gadgets to measure the weather of a place oh she's busy doing experiments she made she built gadgets that would actually measure the weather of a place like armugam was telling me if i am the person who's going to measure no but annamani is certainly one such person how sunny is it in bombay anna built a gadget to measure it how windy is it in madras anna built a gadget for that too imagine a gadget to find out how sunny it is how windy it is for all those she had gadgets her favorite gadget took months to build it was a special balloon called ozone sound it had a small machine fixed to it the machine measured a gas found in the air called ozone ozone sounds fly really really high look there goes anna's ozone sound this was to measure ozone in the atmosphere how much is there how much of ozone is there she found a gadget for that also guess how many gadgets annamani built in all nearly 100 weather gadgets she even had her own factory to make these gadgets oh my god it was as if she could build anything annamani became one of the wisest weather scientists in india even as she grew older and more well known her best friends remained the same works books and more books look at this her factory and how even when she was old she was always accompanied by books what a wonderful story isn't it shrai from when she was a small girl 8 year old to when she grew old she loved books now here they give her timeline meaning what all she did at different points of time 23rd august 1918 annamani is born in pirmedu in kerala 1940 she gets a scholarship 
to work at C. V. Raman's laboratory in Bangalore. So, who was that scientist? Sir C. V. Raman. In 1945, she leaves for England to study meteorology. What is meteorology? Study of weather. 1948, she returns and joins the Indian Meteorological Department in Pune. 1962, she starts work on that ozone sonde project. 1976, she retired as Deputy Director General of the Indian Meteorological Department. Imagine she was the Deputy Director General. And in 1980s, she started her own company to manufacture her gadgets. She started making her own gadgets in her own factory. 16th August 2001, Annamani passed away in Kerala. What an inspirational story, isn't it? March 8th is actually Women's Day. So on Women's Day, such a wonderful thing to learn about a woman who did so much for science in India. Also, last week was what? Last week was World Science Day. So a combination of a World Science Day and the World Women's Day together put together in this beautiful book from Pratham Books, Anna's Extraordinary Experiments with Weather. It says written by Nandita Jairaj and illustrated by Priya Kurian. And do you know something? This book got the Big Little Book Award for winner for illustration. That is all those beautiful drawings. Hope you like the story. Thank you. Bye-bye. And now, Armugam, I'm sure, has decided not to go out in the afternoon, but wait for evening instead. Bye-bye. <laughs> and if you like the story, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. See you till next time.